he has nothing for which to vote for. No, no, we'll not satisfy and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. I'm not unmindful that some of you have come here today out of great tribes and tribulation. Some of you have come here from fresh narrow jail cells. Some of you have come here from areas where your quest for freedom left you battered by the hands of persecution and staggered by the winds of police brutality. You have been the veterans of created suffering. Continue the faith that unarmed suffering is redemptive. So go back to Mississippi. Go back to Alabama. Go back to Georgia. Go back to Louisiana. Go back to the slums and ghettos of our northern city, knowing somehow that this situation can and will be changed. So let us not wallow in the valley of despair. For I say to you today, my friend, Though even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meanings of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, sons of former slaves and sons of former slave owners would one day be able to sit down at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream today. I have a dream my four little children would one day be able to live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the contents of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream down in Alabama with his governor lips present dripping with the words of interposition and notification. Right there in Alabama, little black boys and little black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream every valley shall be exalted. Every hill and mountain shall be made low and the rough places will be made plain and the crooked places will be made straight and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith which I return to the South will. With this faith, we'll be able to hew out the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. With this faith, we'll be able to work together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meanings. My country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring and if America is to become a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom reign from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom reign from the heightened Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom reign from the snow-capped rockets of Colorado. Let freedom reign from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. But not only that, let freedom reign from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom reign from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom reign. When we let freedom reign, when we let it reign from every village, from every state and every hamlet, we'll be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, 
we'll be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spirit. Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. <laughs> Stand right there, Mr. Noah. Stand right there, please. I mean, uh, I wanna, I wanted to ask you a little something. Just stand right there, okay. I appreciate this man to the fullest. What made you want to do this? Want to learn the speech and sound like him, dress like him a little bit. What made you want to do this? Doing the civil rights area, I was inspired by the civil rights movement. Okay. And I more so say that the Lord have put that on me to keep the fulfillment of the dream of life. And I thank him for that. All right. If you, uh, uh, Mr. Nord, I wanted to mention something to you. Uh, in the inauguration, there was a man said that Martin Luther King had an agenda. He had a speech. But uh, what did I tell you her name was? Uh, his favorite gospel singer. Mahalia Jackson. Mahalia Jackson. She was in the audience and she changed it because she said, Martin, tell him about the dream you had, Martin. Tell him the dream you told me. And that's how he got on that speech. And I film that. I got a little proof on that. I want to thank you. God bless you. Thank you for helping Jazz Red. Thank you. Thank you. All right, this is Jazz Red. Peace out. Wave at all of them, Mr. Noah. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> Hi, this is Jazzeria, and I'm Jazzeria Talk Show, and I'm here with a little cousin of mine. Tell him your name, man. Brandon Sampson. Brandon Sampson, right? Did I say that right, Brandon? Okay, all right, how old are you? He's five. He's five. Now, I wanted to ask Brandon something. Um, what school do you go to? Okay, I want you to look up at the camera, too. <laughs> Elementary school. Okay, now, what's your teacher name? And Miss Dodge. Okay, Miss Doris or Miss Dodge? Miss Dodge. Okay, let me let me ask you. I want to ask you, um, who is Martin Luther King? A civil rights leader. Oh, a civil rights leader. I didn't know I didn't know you knew that. Okay, uh, now, who is our president? Barack Obama. Barack <laughs> Obama. <laughs> You smart man. Now you tell me what you gonna be when you grow up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, football player. Okay, a football player. You're gonna be a football player. Now that's nice. That's all right. Now tell me what's your father's name? Mm -hmm. Speak up. Okay, Ledger Samson. Uh, he works with me at the shipyard. That's my cousin. My cousin. We grew up together. That just sounds. I'm holding. Now you told me you're gonna be a football player, and and Jazz Red gonna hold you to that. Okay. You gonna you gonna do that? All right. You gonna take care of us and get us out the shipyard? All right. We ain't gonna be in the shipyard when he been make NFL. All right. You wave to all my all my viewers. Tell them bye. All right. <laughs> Jazz Red, talk show. Peace out. Man, I ain't know you know. <laughs> This little jazz, and I'm mad. I, I had they had no money to buy my mama a birthday present, so I told my sister, I said, we could we could give her a cat. So we run down the street all day and chase that fat tail cat and catch that cat and and we put him in the box. And we wrap him up and and put some paper on it and, and a big bow. And and me and my sister get that cat, that box, that present to my mama. And and she shake that box and that cat said, Meow, kinda low light. And she listen. My mama shake that box again. And and that cat said, Meow, real loud. And my mama kicked that screen door open and, and threw that cat outside, threw her prison outside. And and my dad said, Little Jazzy, did y'all put a hole in the box for the cat to breathe? I said, he was breathing when I put him in the box. 
And he said, yeah, they run outside. And, and he opened that box. 